everyone welcome back to another video this is bruna today as you can see we are going to be learning how to crochet this super super cute cottage core mushrooms they look amazing i love how they turned out and also they are super super easy to crochet they have little loops at the top so you can actually use them as a keychain or even as a ornament also you can decorate garlands if you want to do garlands you can use them for that or wreaths and for any other thing that you want to use them for. So I really hope you like it and don't forget to share with me on Instagram, on TikTok if you give them a go because they are really, really cute. So I really hope you like it and now let's begin with the tutorial. So for this project, you will need any type of yarn you want to use. Here I am using the Bravissimo 50 by Teslan.com and this one is a DK number three yarn and I'm using here in the shade white, red and cream. The white one is going to be for the little dots, the red is going to be for the top, the cap of the mushroom, and then the cream is going to be for the bottom of the mushroom. And then you also need a little bit of polyfill to fill out the inside of the mushroom. And then for the tools, I'm using a small pair of scissors, a 3.5 millimeters hook, and a tapestry needle so that we can do all the sewings and all the weave-ins. So now let's begin and I'm going to be starting by creating the top of the mushroom and for that I'm going to be using the red yarn. So to begin I'm going to be doing a magic ring but you can also do a chain of four or three and then slip stitch to create a ring. It's going to be completely up to you. So I'm going to be creating my magic ring and then I'm going to be chaining one in which is not going to count as a stitch. This is just so that we can begin the round. And then into the ring, I'm going to be making six half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have the six half double crochets, remember that you can also do with single crochets if you want the mushroom to be a little bit smaller. So once you have the six stitches, pull the end of the ring nice and tight to close the middle of the first round. And then you're gonna go into the very first half double crochet and then you go into slip stitch. So you can always count to see which one is the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my first half double crochet. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet. And now we have the first round completed. So now we are going to increase all the way around. So we are going to be having 12 stitches for the second round. So we are going to start with a chain of one and then into that same stitch where you did the slip stitch, you're going to create the first half double crochet. And then into that same one, you're going to be making an another one so that we have an increase in which is two half double crochets into the same stitch. And now you can repeat the same all the way around. So next stitch, two half double crochets, following stitch, two half double crochets. So keep on creating the increases all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end. So as you can see, I have my 12 stitches. Now all I have to do is to go into the first half double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch and now we can begin with round number three. So chain one, not counting as a stitch and then you go into half double crochet into that very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. I need more yarn. <laughs> so now you're going to half double crochet into the following stitch, just one. So we have one half double crochet at the beginning, one into the next stitch, and then increase into the following one. So two half double crochets into the following stitch. And then one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the following one. And then keep on repeating the same all the way around. So one half double crochet into the next two and increase into the following one. 
So into this last stitch, stitch number 12, we are going to be doing an increase, so two half double crochets into that same stitch. And going around the third round, you should have 16 stitches. So now all you have to do to finish it off is to go into the first half double crochet and slip stitch. You can see that your third round, it's already going downwards to create the little cap for the mushroom. It's going to create kind of a little cup. So now for the following round, round number four, chain one, half double crochet into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch, and then half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then the following one is going to be an increase, and then one half double crochet into the next three stitches. and then increase into the following one. So keep on repeating the same steps all the way around. When you get at the end, you will have one stitch left and you're going to increase into the last stitch following the pattern. So two half double crochets into the last one. So for the fourth round, you will have 20 stitches going around. So now all you have to do is to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and we can now start with the last round, round number five. So chain one and half double crochet into the very first stitch and then you go into half double crochet into the next three stitches. So here at the beginning we are going to be having four stitches in total and then for the following one, we are going to increase. So two half double crochets into the following stitch. And now one half double crochet into the next four stitches. and then increase into the following one. So keep on repeating the same steps all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. And for the last round, round number five, we are going to be having 24 stitches. So now we can slip stitch into the first half double crochet and now we can chain one, leave enough yarn for the sewing of the cap. So you're going to wrap the yarn around the bottom here three times to make sure that you're gonna have enough yarn. This is a little tip that I can give you. You can always do that and it's going to always, always give you enough yarn to sew all the way around. So cut off the yarn and now we can fasten off. So chain one and fasten off. There we go. So now we have the cap now completed. It looks super cute. <laughs> So now we are going to be moving on into the bottom of the mushroom and for this one, the second one that I'm doing, I'm going to be using this cream yarn because I think it's going to complement really well with the red. Yeah, that looks really nice. So for the bottom of the mushroom, we are going to be doing the very first two rounds that we did for the cap of the mushroom for the top of the mushroom. So you can go ahead and do that. So match green, chain one, and then six half double crochets around the ring, close the ring, and then slip stitch into the first half double crochet, and then chain one and increase all the way around into this second round. So once you have the 12 stitches around, slip stitch into the first half double crochet, and now we can move on into the third round of the bottom of the mushroom. So we are going to be doing this round into the back loops only. For the rest, it's going to be different just for this round that we are going to be doing back loop only. So I'm going to chain one and then into this very first stitch where we did the slip stitch. You can see this one. So going to back loop only and then one half double crochet and then next stitch back loop only one half double crochet, back loop only, one half double crochet, and then keep on repeating the same all the way around, just one half double crochet into every stitch. 
and into the back loop only of the stitches. You are going to be having 12 half double crochets going around this third round. So we don't have any increases or decreases for this round. So I got into my last stitch, back loop only, half double crochet, and now we can slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So now for the fourth round, chain one, half double crochet into the very first stitch, entire stitch this time, we are not doing back loops only, and then half double crochet all the way around. So one half double crochet around into every stitch. So we are also going to be having 12 stitches for this round. Last stitch, half double crochet, and then slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So now we are going to be starting with the decreases. If you want to make this a little bit longer, then just add one more round all the way around, but I wanted to keep this size. So for the fifth round, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to half double crochet into the very first stitch where we did the slip stitch and then half double crochet one half double crochet into the following stitch and now we are going to be doing a half double crochet together into the next two stitches so you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook going into the following stitch you're going to pull up a loop yarn over insert into the following stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all loops together so that's a decrease a half double crochet decrease and now we are going to be doing one half double crochet into the next two stitches i'm just going to be putting the end this little tail when we've started inside so that it's not on the way when we are doing the half double crochets so now we can decrease into the next two stitches so yarn over insert into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all loops and now just keep on repeating the same steps now we got two stitches left you're going to be doing a decrease here at the end let's count how many stitches we have for this round so one two three four five six seven eight nine stitches so now going to the first half double crochet and then slip stitch and now we can move on into the next round so now we are going to be doing two rounds of only half double crochets around. So chain one, half double crochet into the first stitch, and then half double crochet all the way around. So we are going to be having nine half double crochets around this next round, in which is round number six. So now we slip stitch into the very first stitch, chain one, and then do another round of only half double crochets following the stitches. So for round number seven, in which is this one, we are also going to be having nine stitches going around. So once you did the half double crochets all around, slip stitch into that first stitch. So the next round is going to be with decreases. So we're going to be starting with the chain of one, half double crochet into the very first stitch, and then we are going to decrease into the following two. So now we do one half double crochet into the following stitch and then decrease into the next two. And then one half double crochet into the following stitch. And lastly, into those two last stitches, we are going to be doing a decrease. And now for this round, we have six stitches going around. So we are going to then 
slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and now we are going to chain one and half double crochet around these six stitches so just one half double crochet it's going to be a little bit tight now to crochet here but try your best and also it's not that difficult just be patient with this one <laughs> with this round so just make sure that we have the six stitches going around so one two three four five and six yeah so now we are going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and now we can actually begin creating the bottom of the mushroom you can see this little round section here at the bottom so we are now going to basically create the cap of the mushroom that we did here at the top of this uh, stem bottom thing that we are creating now for this first round we are going to be doing front loop only all the way around so that the little round that we do kind of sticks out and it goes towards the bottom and not the top so chain one and we are going to also increase all the way around so go into the first stitch you can see this one front loop only this one is a little bit difficult front loop only and then half double crochet and then another half double crochet into the very first stitch we are going to increase all the way around that's why so go into the following stitch front loop only and increase next stitch front loop only and two half double crochets and then follow the same all the way around just make sure that you have 12 stitches going around this next round now we can slip stitch into that first half double crochet and now we can repeat what we basically did into the cap of the mushroom so chain one half double crochet into the very first stitch now we are going to be using the entire stitch and not front loop or back loop anymore and then half double crochet into the following stitch and then increase into the next one so two half double crochets into that same stitch now repeat the same one half double crochet into the next two and increase into the following one and now we can repeat the same all the way around all right so i've finished all the way around so i have an increase into the last stitch now i'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet chain one and then half double crochet into the next three stitches you already know how to do this because it's the same as we did for the cap but i'm just gonna go around with you and then increase into the following one and then follow the same steps so one half double crochet into the next three and increase into the following stitch and then repeat the same all the way around so now we slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and now make the last round so chain one one half double crochet into the next four stitches and increase into the following one and then repeat the same all the way around so one half double crochet into the next four stitches and increase into the following one so now to finish it off round number 13 we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch the first half double crochet chain one cut off a little tail fasten off so get your polyfill you don't need a lot it's just a tiny bit so just get the polyfill and then you're going to push it down the bottom section just like this 
add a little bit more if you need to. I need just a little bit more, just a tiny little bit. And you can also choose how you want this filled. I like to be maybe just like this or maybe just a tiny little bit more. There we go. I think this is enough. You want to make sure that the bottom here is nice and straight when you do it because you don't want it to be rounded. Yeah, I do like this. And this little cup that we made, we are going to fold it down towards the bottom and this is how it it's going to look like for now but it already looks so cute so if you want you can actually weave this in I'm just going to move this um, yarn a little bit to the top to around this section because then it's not gonna be kind of on the way when we are sewing both parts together so just move this yarn towards this part here and then if you want you can insert into the middle of the mushroom like this too up to you there we go and then you can just cut off this yarn so we are going to leave this aside for now and we are going to be making now the little dots these little dots here so for the dots we are actually going to be making the very first round of what we did for the cap and also the bottom of the mushroom and you are going to change the stitches you can do with single crochets half double crochets and double crochets and that's basically what i did so let me show you how to do with single crochet because you already know the half double crochet one so make a magic ring and then you're going to chain one and then you're going to create six single crochets around the ring. So two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to close the ring and then you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. Chain one, leave a little bit of yarn so we can do a sewing. And then fasten off. It's this simple. Make the middle really nice and tight, like this. And now the little dot is completed. So cute. So now make one with half double crochets. So magic ring, chain one, and six half double crochets around the ring. Close the ring, really nice and tight. Go into the first half double crochet, slip stitch. Now chain one, cut off a little bit of yarn, make sure that you leave enough for the sewing. And then fasten off. And also just so you have this ready to sew it in place, you want to weave in the shorter end into the back. So thread this yarn into a tapestry needle and then you're just going to go through a couple of stitches. I'm just going to go into one going forward and then I'm going to be skipping that one and then I'm going to go backwards into a couple of stitches just like this. And now we skip the very first loop and go back into those same stitches and then now you can just cut off the yarn so what I'm going to be doing now is creating as many dots as I want to do for this next mushroom I think I'm going to do probably five or six so I'm going to make six just in case so three with half double crochets and three with single crochets so all the dots are now completed and now we can sew these into the red cap so let's do that. Choose one and then thread the yarn that you have here into your tapestry needle. And now you're going to be choosing a place for this. So go into the next stitch close to the facet off. So next stitch and then go through any stitch of the red cap and then just sew that down. So now go through any stitch beside the other one, as you can see, and then through the next stitch of the dot, just like that. 
sew that down and then next one of the dot and then go all the way down through the cap and then sew that together now bring it forward into the next stitch of the dot make that nice and tight and then take it back into a next stitch and then just go around repeating the same until you feel like that it's secured in place so i'm going to do into this last one and now you want to make it really nice and tight but not too too tight okay just so that all the stitches are really nice and tight in place and now you're just going to go into that first one again take it back and now we can fasten off here on the reverse just move this out of the way so choose one stitch go through any stitch that you want and then you want to go into that stitch twice so one and then the second time you're going to leave a little loop and then you're going to go through the loop and make it really nice and tight this is to fasten off the yarn in place now you can just cut a little end you can leave this end here at the back into the reverse and now you can do the same into all the other dots so as you can see i have the dots now sewed in place i've decided to go for five instead of six so yeah so this is how mine looks like remember that you can add as many as you want now we are going to be getting the bottom of the mushroom and the top we are going to be putting them together like this and now we can just sew all the way around it together i like to fold this way because it's easier to see the stitches and sew them together i'm going to thread the red yarn into a tapestry needle So now for the sewing, you can actually decide how you want to do it. I'm going to be doing the back loop of the red and the front loop of the beige and then sew the two together. So let's do that. So go into this very first stitch, this one, back loop only, go through that stitch and then choose any stitch of the bottom, front loop only and then sew the two together. So now from here, it's a little bit easier. You're gonna get the back loop of the red, the front loop of the bottom of the beige, and then sewing the two together like this. Back loop of the red, front loop of the beige, the next one, the next stitch, and then sewing the two together like this. And then just keep on repeating the same all the way around. You have the same amount of stitches here. So it's pretty simple to just sew the two together. You don't have to skip or to add any stitches here. So now I'm getting here towards the end and I'm following the same steps. Just grabbing the two stitches that I have to get and sewing the two together. So now I'm just going to go through that very first one just one more time just so that we have a nice finish here so what you want to do now is to go into any other stitch first maybe separate this like this <laughs> this is so cute oh my god <laughs> so just move this yarn from any stitch that is not that one okay any stitch that is here at the top of the red and then you want to move this right in the middle you can see of the cap of the very first round just right in the middle you want to fold the mushroom exactly in its position how you want it to look like because now we are going to just sew some little stitches around so we can secure this in place so that is not going to open it like this <laughs> so go into any other stitch beside the other one that you have so I'm gonna go here and then you want to get one stitch of the mushroom here at the bottom make sure that we don't have any red yarn showing and then you're just going to go to the top again sewing that in place so just make sure that you got that make it nice and tight and to make sure that it's secured in place you're just gonna get the top of the mushroom and the bottom and you're going to pull them apart like this 
and if it's not separating then it's nice and secured in place and then I'm going to do that just one more time just to make sure maybe on this other side here Now, if you want to finish right here and you want this just as a little decoration for something else, then you are going to basically fasten off. You're going to hide this yarn inside the mushroom and then you can just cut off the yarn. Now, if you want to create the little loop at the top, then we are going to just remove this yarn from the tapestry needle. Now you're gonna get your hook and then you're going to choose one stitch that it's right at the top of the mushroom. Any stitch that is here at the top, I'm going to get this one. Just go through any stitch. And now all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through that stitch that you just found that you want to do the loop into. And then we are going to chain. You can chain as many as you want. I'm going to be doing my chain and then I'll let you know exactly how many I did. Cause I'm not sure how many. Oh well, oh, until you run out of yarn basically. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I've done here 18 chains until I've run out of yarn basically. But if you wanna do more then you have to attach a new, a new yarn in place. And then all you have to do is to go through that same loop at the bottom and then you are going to slip stitch into that loop and then you're going to chain one and then fasten off. And now you have the loop right at the top of the mushroom. I'm going to now thread this yarn that I have left here into my tapestry needle and then I'm going to hide this yarn inside my mushroom. Like this, back and forth into different stitches. I'm gonna have to use my hook because this yarn is too short so I'm going to finish hiding this yarn with my hook just gonna do one more time there we go so once you have that yarn hidden inside the mushroom you can cut off the end and that's it we are done it's that simple oh look at this it's so cute oh my god look at it it's just the cutest little thing ever the other loop i actually did it a little bit longer because i had more yarn left here and as you can see this mushroom is just a tad a little bit bigger than this one that i showed you in the video and all i did was to add one more round of um, increases all the way around so we did four half double crochets and one increase into this last one so all you have to do for the following one if you want to make it bigger then you're just going to do five half double crochets and one increase all the way around all right if you want to make it bigger and also then you're gonna to have to add a one more round at the bottom so that it matches so it's a little bit bigger so that's something that i can add here if you want to make a little bit bigger and you know what i love the most about this mushroom is that the little cap moves around so it's actually like a real mushroom because they usually move the cap around like this so this is really cool i really like that you can use this mushroom as a keychain or as a little ornament for your christmas tree you can see already where i'm going with this so this is basically my very first two little ornaments for my christmas tree i want to do kind of like a cottage core a Christmas tree with cottage core ornaments. So let's see how that's gonna go. These are the first two. I'm probably gonna make two more probably um, of this same mushroom or maybe I'm going to do different ones and I can share them with you. Let me know what I should do next for my Christmas tree. So I really hope you liked it. Don't forget to share with me on my Instagram at Brunaticality if you make one. I really want to see how yours turns out and also the shades you're going to be using. So yeah, this is it for today's video, everyone. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to also leave your massive thumbs up 
down below and also don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more videos just like this one. So thank you so, so much again for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye!